Hey everybody, this is Alpha Zero from Active Service. I'm gonna do a review on the Grease Side no, no Kajitsu on the first episode and uh, first impressions. Now, when I looked at this episode, um, I think it is okay, but in terms of first impressions, it kind of became a little disappointing. Well, maybe because like I saw a little like um, couple things that kind of bothered me a bit. But the introduction to like some some of the characters is not too bad, and maybe the ending kind of bothered me. So if anything else, I'd like to get started right now. There's this new kid, new kid called Yuji Kazami. is being transferred to a school, but he gets picked up by by the principal. And later on, like um, they nearly got into a car crash due to the fact of her um damn stupidity, you know, of not holding on to the wheel and being all eh. And he ends up going to the student dormitory, and the person. And the first person he meets is um, uh, some girl in a somewhat maid costume, pro in a in a maid outfit. I think that um, Sachi, I believe. Yeah, that's Sachi. And later, like um, he's the one that's gonna be transferring in today. And she only wears a maid costume because, like, she says like you should wear it all the time. You know, getting good compliments. He ends up taking a bath. And then he actually sleeps naked, which is to my surprise. And after that, he wakes up in the early morning and runs, and then run fast, hit hard, read books, you know. And he gets introduced to uh, two two new character, two new characters that we know. Well, they had a bad bad um, introduction for me in my own eyes because of the freaking stupid panty shots. I'm like, dude, I've seen enough of that. What the fuck? And then one of them, and two of them is so Ama Amane, and then like um, Makina Irusu, and overall like um, I don't know what else to say, but like um, two new characters, you know. And then there's one character that acts like a tsundere or something. That's Michu. He meets in the classroom. And he goes like teasing her or not, and says like um, tsundere has had it rough, huh? And I think there's like um, another thing too, like um, another classmate he hasn't met yet, so he decides to meet with her at the evening, and he tries to say like, I, "Hey, you must be uh, Sakaki Yumiko. My name is my name is Yuji Kazami. Kazami." He tries to talk to her and says, "Hey, I'm trying to say hello." And she threw a she drew a knife on him, and I go like, "You can't be serious. A guy's trying to introduce." Someone's trying to introduce themselves to you, and you try to like kill him or something. And then, when he got to his room, he realized someone trespassed his room or something. And that was like Suo Amane, and I can't believe they met. And I'm really glad they censored out some things because I go like, "What the hell? Are you really serious about this?" And she says she wants to change in here because she she her her room's on the second floor and it's like too much effort. And she even asked him, "Do you have a sister?" He says, "Yeah, she died years ago." And then he said, "She asked him, like, what's the sister's name?" Kazuki. And this like surprised her, I believe. She goes like, "Whoa." Later on, she says, "Like, oh, I'll make you some dinner, so I'll see you then." And then she ends up saying, "Like, I found you or something," you know? Like he's wondering, like, how she, how she got into his room. She picked locked it, you know? And she says, oh, I finally found you, you know? I go like, what are you talking about? I think, like, um, this involves a bus crash backstory we saw a bit. And then, like, um, a couple girls by themselves. And one of them is actually, like, um, working on something, which I don't really know what she's doing. I think it looked like a bomb or something. I'm like, what's she, what she trying to work on? The one in the maid outfit? And then the other girl... With the box cutter knife, she says, "I'll never accept you." And later on, he's got he he's got a call and says, the, "There's now some work to do," you know. And he opens up the box, opens up the box. He has it coded, and just by looking at the reflection, it looks like some military weaponry. And I go like, "Hold up, hold up, hold up! Well, well, what's going on here?" You know, um, I think the episode's not bad. It does have a couple of cliches and stupid stuff in it, like I told you about already. The panty shots, and then this girl, like, um, changing in Yuji's room all freaking half top naked. I'm like, what the heck? I'm glad they censored that out, thank goodness. 
Well, even so, it's not a good way to like I'm um, trying to like um, grab the audience's attention. It's not that's not a good way. So overall, I think this um, I think this uh, I think this series might be a little interesting and so forth. I might go check out some things about what happened because this thing is a visual novel is a video game, visual novel video game. So it, it's adapted. It pretty much just anime is created from the um, visual novel itself. So I don't really know what to expect, but maybe take a look at it, understand it. So I think that's about it, you know. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Okay. Um, I think there should be a couple more videos coming up today because there, there's a couple anime that. Has, has came out a couple days ago, but they hasn't been subbed. So, expect that, hopefully today, and so forth. Well, it might be late, depending, because I have to take care of some schoolwork and so forth, alright? Um, that'll be about my review and first impressions a bit. Wish it could have been better, but it has some psychological stuff, mate. It has some psychological stuff, and I think I'm kind of interested. So, if anything else, that'll be about it. Have a good day, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.